Sorry. <laughs> Hi, YouTubers. Hi. It is Kareen and Malika. Welcome to Kareen TV. Today, we are actually going to be talking about um, a post on Instagram that basically speaks about a young boy who wants to wear tutus and in a nutshell his parents have allowed him to express him whatever he would like to do they are going with it and if he feels that he wants to wear tutus and lipstick and whatever they're letting him be him and not taking anything away from him so to say and not telling him no be a boy be masculine blah 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 um, I have, and this little boy I believe is, how old is he? Six years old. Six. I'm actually going to post the information in the video, or the link to the photo. The link to the photo, sorry. And I'm going to try, if I can, post it somewhere over here or in this corner here. And if I can't, it will definitely be in the description box. I'll have the link there. But um, I have a four-year-old, and... As I've mentioned on my other channel, The K is My Boring Life. Subscribe <laughs> um, to that too. Yes. Um, I've always said that my parents are Jamaican. I have grown up with such West Indian morals and values and tendencies. It's crazy, even though I'm born in Canada. Um, I'm very conflicted when it comes to the LGBT community. I know it's a longer name, but we're just <laughs> cut, cut it down. Short. Yeah. Um, and when I say that, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it at all. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I'm very conflicted because how I was brought up was man and man is not a good thing. Woman and woman is not a good thing. Men and men is not good. Women and women is not good. Man and woman because God made Adam and Eve and not Adam and Steve. That's what I was taught. Please don't hate me. That's just what I was taught. That's in the how culture, it is. In the music. Thank everything. you. That's how it is in all culture, a lot of cultures, especially in the Jamaican culture. I cannot speak for other West Indian countries, although we're very similar and a lot of us think alike. I can't speak for them because I'm not anything other than Jamaican. I mean, I have other ethnicities like other ancestors from other places but both of my parents are Jamaican so I can only speak on Jamaicans that's all I know okay um, going back I'm very conflicted because I kind of feel like if Kairi wanted to wear tutus I'd be like oh my gosh why but at the same time if he wanted to wear a tutu I would let him excuse me I don't ever want my child to feel like he can't be himself. I don't ever want him to feel like that. I let my child watch Little Mermaid. <laughs> and I don't look at it other than the music and the colors. Because my son loves music. And he loves the flash, flash, flash. A lot of kids love flash and the bright <laughs> colors and the music. But Kairi is a music child. For those of you that do not know, I actually sing. So when I was pregnant with Kairi, my sister and I, who sings as well. Check out her song, I Love You Still. We'll, we'll, link will be in the bio down below. Um, we both sang to my belly when I was pregnant. When he came out, we sang. Even with Kaylee, I sang. I did all the same things. So I feel like he is more of a music child and flash, flash, flash. Because we're very much like that. And I don't know. I, 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 I kind of would, I definitely would feel like, oh no, why? But at the same time, I'd be like, you're my child, I love you dearly, and if that's what you choose to do, then you, I'm your mom, I'm never gonna stop being your mom, I'm never gonna stop loving you, and I want you to be you, I want you to be happy with you. I don't want you to ever feel like I don't accept you. I want you to always know and feel that mommy loves you, and that I will do anything on this planet for you. I'm sorry I may cry, mess up my makeup but seriously like I love my kids very much and I definitely want them to know that I will do anything anything humanly possible for my kids anything anything I mean stop talking because I'm gonna cry <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the kid he just wants to wear a tutu because in real honesty clothes have no gender clothes do not have a gender hair does not have a gender so he probably thinks 
hey, I can wear a tutu outside and this girl can be like a male stereotype and do something like that. For example, skateboard. A girl skateboarding, which is something that's male dominant. Um, I just feel like he he's bliss to it. He doesn't know the culture or the society way of being shamed upon okay. of doing that. Okay. I guess, in a different wording. Okay. And how do you feel his mom went about it? Um, they went on a very good approach. Um, she is just very concerned about um, her son's safety, which I would completely be understandable understandable about no one wants their kid in danger or to be bullied or any of that be the case or to suppress feelings and not share them with his mom so she went on a good approach about like being open with me and like just watching out for her kid in his day-to-day -day life and and if this is if this is who he is then this is who he is and she's already accepting that and he wants to wear nail polish, so let him wear nail polish. Okay, fair enough. How would you feel if you want Kahiri wanted to wear nail polish on the first day of school? Um, honestly, Kahiri has tried to put on my lipstick. Kahiri has tried to put on my high heels. Um, and at first I was like, oh my gosh. But he was in a house of three women. Not to say that that's an excuse, but children mimic what they see. And nature and nurture. He has definitely seen three very strong black women in his life. We, we, we put on makeup sometimes, we wear lipstick sometimes, we always have on nail polish. If you guys don't know, my nails always done, always did. <laughs> like, my nails are always done. So I'm, 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 I know that that's what he has seen and what he's used to. So he's just like, okay, I want to put on nail polish. No I'm so conflicted with that because I wouldn't want him to wear nail polish but at the same time I don't want to stop him from being him and that's why I feel like some people may think that I'm being a hypocrite because I'm really not trying to be a hypocrite I cannot no. help what was instilled in me I cannot help it I'm very open to people that are not straight whether you're transgender, whether you're gay, whether you're bi, whether you are... I don't know all the, all the terminology <laughs> for it because I'm a straight woman, but those who are of that community, I can't even say society, of that community, know what you are and know the different terminologies. And I mean, if that's what you do, then that's what you do. Like, God created everybody, man and woman black, white, brown, yellow, pink, purple, whatever you are. God created everybody and he created man in his image. I feel like he knew your life before your parents even did. So clearly it shouldn't be shunned upon. Maybe people in church will hate me saying that and I really don't give up. But this is just how I feel. I can't help how I feel. Like I know that some of what I'm saying is like, but you're saying this, but you can't say this when you just said that. But you can't say that when you just said this. If you disagree, comment in the section, in the comment box below, and we'll talk about it. I'll meet you in the inbox, in the comment section. Yeah, I'll like, meet you there. We'll I, talk about it. I don't, I really, I really want to know how other people think, mothers, dads, people in the LGBT, a, a, a whatever however it however it goes i want to know how everybody feels i really do well for me even though it'll be another story time on another video my coming out story i guess but um my parents were more be the fact of they already knew i guess whatever be the case because i was in a relationship okay um and they said as long as i'm happy and that's what matters most even though it may not feel like it at times through our differences that they approve of everything, but it went all right. Okay. That's, that's another story for another vlog. That's definitely going to be another story time. But yeah, let us know how you feel. Definitely again, as, I, as we mentioned before earlier in this vlog, let us know. Read the, go to the link first. Sorry, I'm stumbling on my words. Go to the link first, read what it says, and the mother's approach. Look at our vlog, 
listen to what I've said, listen to what Malika has said, and let us know what you guys think. Like, I really want to hear other people's opinions. And at the end of the day, love wins. So, this is very true. Love most definitely wins. Thank you for watching KTV. I'm Malika, and this is Kareen, and we approve this message.